first issue that would hit Algonquin students is the residential room rental bylaw that I'm bringing forward at council. And this is because uh, neighbors in the area are really concerned about the number of illegal rooming houses. So that's a home where they rent out more than three rooms, okay, because that's illegal. And uh, so I went to a number of areas across Ontario and found out the best way to resolve this issue. And the issue is best resolved by enforcement. So we're bringing forward a number of options that let us enforce that bylaw better. That's good news for students because they will know instantly that where they're moving into, you know, a room in a house in the area is safe. They'll know that it's been inspected. And uh, then the people renting out will know that their room is safe and has been on a list for people to rent out. So there's no effort in getting people to, to uh, take them up on the offer. And uh, the community knows that illegal rooming houses will be shut down. So I think it's good for everyone. And the second issue, is crumbling roads and infrastructure. Students are like anyone else. They don't, don't like crumbling roads. And students understand that you have to put money into maintenance and keep the, the roads going if they're going to be uh, drivable and if they're going to be have the fewest number of potholes. So they understand that, we're going to fix that. And then it would be, I guess, uh, uh, core services like snow clearing and uh, police. Uh, so we need to hire more police officers. We have the same number that we had in 2012 when the population was much smaller and when we had no discernible gun, guns and gangs issue. Uh, so reality is we need more police and if we do that it's going to handle the speeding issue uh, in a way that people haven't really thought about. I'm bringing that bylaw forward on uh, residential room rentals and that's going to clear up everything make it very certain for students as to what they're facing and initially by the way two years ago when I first proposed it we had students saying well oh no this may cut down on the supply of rooms available for us to rent but they quickly came ar around to realizing that some of the rooms they're renting they shouldn't be renting so if you're in a basement with no exit uh, that's a dangerous position to be in. So we're going to clear that up. That's a good thing. But there's another uh, another issue that I think is going to become really important to Algonquin students soon. And that is as we get ready for light rail stage two, so not the one that's delayed right now, but stage two. Uh, you know, I worked with John Baird, the former minister in the federal government, and we uh, moved forward and got the new baseline below ground transit station built. And that is going to be a train and bus hub for the center and the west. It's going to be, so if you're a student at, when this opens, you'll be able to get on your bus in the morning and never go outside again until you get off your bus at night. And that's going to be something that I think a lot of students are really going to appreciate. They'll get in the bus, they'll end up underground at the bus train station, uh, then they'll take the pedestrian bridge over Woodruff and go to class and reverse it on the way home. So in the dead of winter when it's minus 40, that's great news. In uh, the sweltering heat in the summer, it's great news. So um, I think that's something Algonquin students can really look forward to. And I know a lot of students at Algonquin, they do their first program here, a lot of them do a second, so they'll be around for that. They absolutely are not. Okay. The good news is we're going to a lot of doors and a lot of students live in the immediate area. And uh, so last night alone I had five different students answer doors saying, there's an election? <laughs> and uh, you're the incumbent, aren't you? Yes. And uh, I would have to answer some really basic questions. Um, like, can they vote? So I have to convince them that yes, they're allowed to vote. And uh, Anyway, it's, yeah, it's kind of surprising, but once they know, I think they'll grab a hold of it and do something, go out and vote.